So about one in four Americans have shoulder pain at some point. If pain is in your shoulder affecting your life, there are many effective treatments that can help you feel like yourself again. Hello, this is Dr. Basim Hassan, a Mass General Brigham orthopedic surgeon. So what is shoulder pain? Uh, your shoulder is a complex system that includes bones, joints, and tendons that provide a range of motion you don't have with other joints. And because of this high mobility and the complexity, this means that the shoulder is more prone to injury in several places that can cause pain. The pain could be coming from arthritis, which is very common, and most of the time it comes from wear and tear or from trauma. It could be from nerve injuries, whether brachial plexus, which is the nerves coming from the neck to the shoulder, or the nerves inside the shoulder, dislocation, which is very common in sports, or of course the fractures, which is common in any part of the body, but specifically in the shoulder can happen also from trauma. Now, one of the most common cause of pain that the patient present to our clinic is rotator cuff tear. It could be tendinitis or partial tear. You can have calcification in the shoulder, bursitis, or you can have a true tear that could be small or could be very big. Of course, to the tendon tear, you can have cartilage injury as well, which is more important in a younger patient. And the progressive cartilage wear is what happen over age and cause arthritis and cause symptoms as well. What are the symptoms of shoulder pain? And the pattern of pain could be dull, it could be sharp, it could be achy, it could be mild or could be severe. It may come on, on gradually or start suddenly. It could be related to trauma or really not trauma, but happen progressively. Normal activities can make shoulder pain worse and rest may not make it better. Some of the symptoms may include inability to move the shoulder, muscle spasm, stiffness, swelling, weakness, numbness, tingling, so if you have any of these symptoms, talk to your doctor. You may benefit from treatment like physical therapy, medications, injection, or combination of these modalities. So how do we diagnose shoulder pain? The most important, other than the patient's symptoms, is the examination. Your doctor will examine you and ask you about any recent activities or health issues that may be a cause of your pain. We may then order x-rays, MRI, CT scan to evaluate the bones, ligaments, and tendons. An electromyogram or EMG could be ordered because it can help evaluate if there's any nerve pathology affecting your function. Only occasionally an arthrogram is requested, and this is a special test where they inject a special dye inside the shoulder to make the visualization much more accurate what sometimes we order it for patients with certain pathologies. We can do a diagnostic arthroscopy where we use the arthroscope, which is a camera, to go inside the shoulder and take a look directly inside the shoulder. So how do we treat shoulder pain? Whenever possible, we try alternatives to surgery first. Most people with shoulder pain, they can respond well to rest, to give your shoulder time to heal, physical therapy to strengthen your shoulder muscles and improve flexibility, different type of medications to help with the pain and the swelling, icing, occasionally steroid, either tablets or injection can help as well. Now, if these don't work, or if you have a more serious injury, you may need surgery. So there are two most common type of surgery we do around the shoulder, either arthroscopic or open. The arthroscopy. During this procedure, we make a small incision, we insert the camera, we call it the arthroscope. Inside the shoulder, we'll be able to look at the shoulder completely. The images from the camera display on a monitor and guide the surgeon during the surgery. And we have a lot of instruments that we can use to perform, for example, rotator cuff repair, to sometimes fix the cartilage, to clean uh, bursitis, to clean calcification, could be done through the arthroscopy. The most common open surgery is arthroplasty or shoulder replacement surgery, which means you can replace your shoulder or parts of it with metal and plastic component to get rid of the arthritis that's causing the pain and dysfunction. Shoulder replacement may be helpful if you have severe damage to the cartilage due to arthritis, a fracture, or other conditions. We have many options for treating shoulder pain and most of them don't involve surgery. If you tried treatment and still don't feel right, or you had a surgery that did not work the way you had hoped, get a second opinion. An experienced team of specialists can get you back to work 
and hopefully sports and all other activities you want to do. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Basim Al Hassan. To learn more about other types of joint surgery, click here. And don't forget to subscribe here. Thank you.